Welcome back, everybody, to the Ranger 363V restoration. This is part seven of the series, and we're still working on the trailer, guys. We're going to be focusing on putting the fender wells back onto the trailer and polishing them up, making them look good. So without further ado, let's get into it. I started by buffing out the areas that I was gonna have to attach the lights to first. And then I threw the fender back onto the trailer because it gave some more rigidity and it was easier to polish. A good friend of mine who grew up in a fiberglass shop told me how to polish or taught me how to polish. And basically it's a lot of pressure and moving really slow. And I, as you can see, I'm not moving very slow. I should have gone a little bit slower and let the rubbing compound do its own work. But I still think it came out looking really nice. So here's what an unpolished fender looks like compared to a polished fender and the polished fender you know I'm able to kind of get a mirror finish and as you can see it's quite dull on this fender so we're going to work on polishing this one up to make it look just as good. The cutting compound I'm using is a 3M Super Duty cutting compound and I'm using a wool buffing pad. And this came recommended by my buddy Big Bass Boyd, shout out to Big Bass Boyd. And uh, the general gist I got from him is applying a lot of pressure using a small amount of cutting compound and you doing small sections at a time and not tackling more than uh, you're capable of. So just small areas, lots of pressure and taking your time. Well, that's it for this week, guys. I hope you liked the video, and hopefully we can get this darn trailer finished up so we can get the boat back on it and start working on the boat. I'm really looking forward to that. But real quick, I wanted to show you guys the Mealy Marine website where you can get all the products for this project, plus so much more. We specialize in marine electronics, but we have products for any boating need or any boating situation you can think of. And when you sign up for our mailing list, you get 5% off your first purchase, which is a great way to save some money on some of these more expensive items. If you're here local in the Houston, Texas area, be sure to check us out for your custom boat rigging needs. If you need a graph installed, if you need pan optics installed, if you need custom LED lighting, hit us up. We'll take care of you. If you have a product related question, there's a chat box down at the bottom. Shoot us your question. It, will, it goes straight to our cell phone so we're able to get back to you fairly quickly. We have tons of brands when it comes to marine electronics. Garmin, Lowrance, Humminbird, Raymarine, B&G. The list goes on and on. And I know a lot of them are out of stock due to COVID. But if there's one in particular you are looking for, be sure to shoot us an email. And we'll see if we can get one from one of our other distributors. On top of all of this, guys, we offer some of the best pricing in the lithium batteries game. 
So lithium batteries have come such a long way and the prices are starting to drop where they're becoming more affordable for people. And so we offer Dakota Lithiums and Lithium Pros, two very reputable brands in the uh, lithium battery game. We also offer parts for your boat trailer. A new brand we just picked up is Gatorback Bunks, which is a great way to redo your bunks without having to use carpet. We also manufacture some of our own products. We have over 40 years experience in the CNC machine game. And so we offer some of the best products in the industry when it comes to that. So I hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe if you did. Be sure to check back next week where we finish up this boat trailer. Until next time, guys.